you're going as fast as you possibly can, and you're doing a mission at the same time. I'll sit there and I'll smile and laugh because it is such a good time. Fighter pilots have the biggest egos in the world. They all think they're the best or they probably wouldn't be in the business. The final Jeopardy category is prohibited maneuvers. Uh -huh. Fighter Squadron 32 the pilots and backseat radar operators who fly the Kennedy's F-14s. How many are there? And write them down. Write them down. Hey, what are you guys doing back there? Cocky and flamboyant, with nicknames like Voodoo, Yogi, and Dog. If you were looking for the dog on the weekend, you'd, you'd find him uh, on the beach, uh, probably sporting a pair of flip-flops. My God, man. I can't believe it with uh, cut off sleeves and, and the sun visor on walking the, walking the beach looking for trouble. Girl I know at home, back at the beach. I'll save this for around midnight when it really gets boring on you know, the flight schedule. I'll just sniff it until no, it smells good. See any other ones around here? Dog, real name Lieutenant Jim Kuhn from Damascus, Maryland, is a nugget. That's pilot talk meaning rookie. Nuggets must obviously feel a, a need to prove themselves. <laughs> yes, they do. The Kennedy is his first carrier, but he's a fast learner. He kind of reminds you of a, a laid-back dog kind of person until uh, he gets in the air. <laughs> he's just sharp as a tack. Okay. I just want to make the angle right. Okay. What got you into flying? I, I want to do two things in my life. Uh, one was to go to the Naval Academy, and one was to fly F-14 specifically. It was the baddest on the block. The F-14s may be the baddest, but they're not the mostest. All they can do is play defense. On the ship's attack planes, the A-6s and A-7s deliver the bombs. Everybody's got their mission, and our mission, our little task in life, is to protect those guys that are, are projecting the power. Because there's a lot of little bad guys out there that want to put our bombers down, and that's our job to say, nah. If Dog does it right, the attack planes will get past the enemy's defenses and roll in for a low-level bombing run. They cruise low, they put their bombs on target, on time, every time. Do you consider yourself a warrior? Absolutely. Peace is breaking out all over, but we still, and I can probably answer and speak for every guy in here, that we, uh, we consider ourselves a warrior, even though there's probably not ten hotspots in the world today. It's being a warrior of, of a few different things getting to the basics where we are at combat with the ship, your skills against the ship every single day. I'm the only guy that can use my feet and my hands and get that plane aboard the ship. That to me is being a warrior. Almost to a man, pilots will tell you the thing that scares them most is landing. Which is little more than a controlled crash. The hook suspended from the tail of the plane catches a cable strung across the deck. The pilot's ability to snare the wire can make or break his reputation. Each landing is televised throughout the ship for all to see. If a plane goes around a couple times, it's just a pain in the butt to everybody. And there's no sense causing people that kind of problem. Like that guy did right there. Whoa! Oh! Holy shit! What happened? But he sunk down out of sight for a minute. If he didn't have afterburners, he wouldn't have made it. He went over the wires. He was either way back on the power or didn't put his power up right away. And he settled off the ramp. Another 30 feet, and his wheels would have been in the water, and we would have had two pilots uh, cruising on that way. See, there he goes around again. That was the same Tomcat. Now he's really starting to get shaken. He's seriously checking his fuel if he's uh, low. He has a real good start right now. And now he doesn't want to settle. Like he's been around twice, he's been overpowered. He's looking real good so far. And he's going to go. He's in. OK. Anybody can fly a jet and land it on a runway. I can teach anybody in this room on this ship to land an F-14 on the runway. It's no problem. But to land one on the boat, it gets more difficult. You can't teach a reporter to fly an F-14. They'll bring the canopy down, and the first thing they'll say is, OK, let's go ahead and arm the ejection seat. But you can take them flying in one. 
time to shift gears. Let's get into some eagle meat here. On a training mission against Air Force F-15 Eagles. We ought to be able to eliminate six, uh, especially with three of us. Lieutenant Commander Bob Davis from Clarksburg, West Virginia, will lead the mission. Your g took up right. The only thing that, that you may use on this is this thumb wheel. Again, it'll be in the center for when you launch. The other items that you've got to worry about are going to be the tack end, which is this box here. And then it's also got a manual mode. The data link that this is the one that'll bring the radar to where I'm going to have a checklist. Absolutely. It's not that hard once you get in there and get doing it. We've had pretty good luck with people on their first flight doing that. And, and it's pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we haven't lost anybody yet. Yeah, okay. May 45 walk, uh, 930 uh, takeoff. 11:15 recovery. It's all in blood to him because he has lost good friends. He's the most experienced pilot we have in here, and he has done things I can only dream of doing. So he's an idol as far as his flying ability, his teaching ability, his experience, and he's a real good friend to me. Trust me, I'll take good care of him. I do, I do. Left, right, left rudder. Right, rather, I'm happy with the jet. He's going to give me a burner signal. There's a burner. Assume the position. I'm saluting, and we're out of here. Woo! What does that feel like? Jeez. <laughs> How's that? I guess it was a good launch, huh? Good launch. Jeez. What a great feeling. Let's go back and do it again. I will join up and press out. F-15, F-15. F-14 pilots encounter the Air Force bad guys. They call them bogey. Daylight's okay, well, close out show. New group of bogeys closing from the southeast. Got one aircraft, F-15, on our nose right now. How you doing? I'm over now, I think. Okay. Sorry, I didn't know you were getting ill. And yeah, we're coming down. Now, Davis and I have our story straight. Oh, it was yeah. the wildest yeah. dogfight he's ever been in, it was and I didn't get sick. Someplace back there, there's got to be a desire to show what you can really do. Instead of having this, this the training is realistic and all that but it's still pretend, and, and nobody's going to shoot you down. You bet. You know, you train, in my case, 16 and a half years for game day, if you will, and uh, there's always that doubt in the back of your mind, how are you going to perform on game day? And you never know until it really is that day. I don't want to turn this into a morbid conversation, but do you worry about dying? Not really dying. It's one of the... I don't know if I can speak for all the pilots, but I know the majority of the pilots that uh, I went through flight school with and everything, they are, and I still am, more fearful of failure than death. Crash in a jet, pure failure. Uh, even if it wasn't your fault. Uh, I don't really fear death. It's not doing the, my job and, and failing. It always has been my biggest fear. All right, come on, man. I'm wasting my gas. Let's go do it. Here we go. Real quick, the danger involved is increased uh, 50%. The Kennedy never sleeps. At night, pilots and deck crew push themselves under conditions of near blindness and exhaustion. Night operations on an aircraft carrier, it's like opening up a dark closet. In fact, the United States is the only country to fly off carriers at night. Captain, you know the argument that this is a floating dinosaur. Great in its time, but its time has passed. Absolutely no one who has ridden this ship during the last year for a day has left 
saying the word dinosaur. Nobody is going to want to mess with an aircraft carrier. While the dinosaurs are back in use, and as far as we know at this stage, the USS Kennedy hasn't been dispatched to the Persian Gulf.